Police say that one of the drivers involved in an early morning fatal crash on I-84 was driving the wrong way. It happened around 4 this morning near the Coal Road exit in Boise. Police say the driver of a Saturn was driving the wrong way when he hit a 66-year-old truck driver from Utah. The trucker was wearing a seatbelt and was transported to a nearby hospital, but the driver of the Saturn going the wrong way died at the scene. All lanes are back open now. They were closed for a long time, about four hours earlier this morning. But once again, we can tell you this was uh, brought on by a driver going the wrong way. Let's get to better news for you right now. The Boise State's men's basketball team tipped off their season this afternoon. Broncos did lose. So I don't know if it's better news for you to the 17th ranked uh, 17th ranked Houston 68 to 58. The Broncos, according to Jay Tess, he gave me this report right here. They struggled to shoot threes all game, going one of 16 from behind the arc. Head coach Leon Rice said the, the uh, Cougars handed the Broncos their hats on the glass as well. Boise State was out rebounded 49 to 26. Our sports director Jay Tess will have full highlights of today's game coming up tonight on our news at 6 and 10 as well. Meanwhile, the Boise State football team is in its final preparations for a game that it's going to play tomorrow. The Broncos will take on unbeaten San Jose State. Due to COVID-19, most of the team couldn't spend time with their loved ones this Thanksgiving. But as Jay gives us a look today, um, he wanted to look at what it normally looks like inside the house of starting quarterback Hank Bachmeyer on Thanksgiving. Hey, I know that you have a big family. What's Thanksgiving like at the Bachmeyer household? So we normally go to my grandma's out in Fresno. We do it every year, big turkey bowl stuff, bring other family members. Uh, she's got a big front yard, so people are crying, playing football. Everybody's playing, it's awesome, and uh, man, Bringing that up right now, I'm kind of bummed just because uh, they're not coming up or anything this year. So uh, honestly, like I would just say, I'm tell a message to everybody else. You know, just be grateful to have that time with your family because you know we're we're playing college football during the uh, holidays and uh, it's tough not being with them. When is the last time that you did get the chance to see your family? And I mean, is this the longest yeah. you've gone without kind of seeing them? I saw them in July. Unfortunately, I guess we've gotten used to kind of not being with them. I mean, my brother just got an iPad, so he calls me up all the time. And we're in a fantasy football league, so we stay in contact, you know, doing that and talking trash through that. Hi, Hank. Uncle Bill and Aunt Mary from Napa, California. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Hank. Thank you for the opportunity to wish Hank a happy, healthy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful to know you and love you. Go Boise. Go Broncos. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Hank. We miss you. We love you. See you soon. Go Broncos. I'm thankful to be the oldest of five children. Uh, I have incredible parents that raised me right, and uh, hopefully I'm making them proud. Well, Hank's family sure loves him. A little backstory on this. Jay was telling me that that whole family sent all of those great messages on Thanksgiving within a three hour period yesterday. So that's pretty cool.